Hardtails are a wonderful bike and it's a reason why a lot of us start out on them. They're affordable, they are great for learning skills on and actually if you're an expert they're still really fun to just go hooning around in the winter on. But what kind of upgrades can you make to your hardtail to make it just a little bit better? Well fear not because today I'm going to take you through a few basic and not too expensive upgrades that you can do to your hardtail to make it just a little bit better. Now more than most bikes, a hardtail is probably going to benefit from a dropper and that's because you've got no rear suspension. So if you're running your saddle up high because that's where it's most comfortable and you start getting over some real bumpy terrain, well poof, that thing's going to go where you don't want it to. So a dropper's no longer going to break the bank either. They're actually pretty affordable these days with various cable actuated ones under 100 quid or 100 dollars if you like over in the old states there. They're just going to give you the opportunity to drop that saddle out of the way so that when it gets really bumpy, you're going to have more manoeuvrability on your hardtail. And actually it does another thing. Gone are the days as well when you have to stop and undo the bolt or the quick release, drop the saddle, put it back up at the end. It's just a faff. So it just makes the ride more fluid and more fun as well. When starting out mountain biking, no matter what bike you ride, I would strongly suggest starting out on flat pedals. However, we are starting out on a hardtail and we're gonna give you a little tip here. Switching to clips eventually can be a really good idea. Starting with flats is just a safer option. You're learning new tricks and skills, so crashes are unfortunately inevitable. So taking your foot off the pedals quickly, easily, and safely is just the way forwards. Being attached to your bike, well, that is no good when you start learning, that's for sure. So you've learned your beginner skills, you're progressing a bit, and you are getting pretty good if you do say so yourself. But it does mean things are getting a bit bumpier, a bit rowdier, you're venturing to some harder tracks, and you're finding your feet are jumping around, skipping about all over the place. Well, you might want to think about then switching to clippy pedals. They're going to keep you attached to the bike, which I know sounds scary, but promise me with a bit of practice it isn't. But it can give you a little bit more control and a bit more stability when you are riding. Your feet aren't going to be like bopping and bouncing around. They're going to be attached. You can move the bike, bunny hop it. But I will warn you, it does take practice. So don't take that on too lightly. And again, actually, there are tons of different clips pedals, uh, shoe combos out there. So really worth having a good think. It wouldn't be an upgrade video without the mention of tires. How do they relate to a hardtail? Well, it's all grip. You haven't got as much suspension sticking you to the ground so having a really good set of tires on can make a huge difference there's nothing worse than just going out and constantly washing out or sliding around because the tires that come on your bike are just no good it's one of the best places to start upgrading your hardtail actually because well as with most bikes it should be the only bit that's touching the ground it's the only contact patch and when you do buy a cheaper hardtail often manufacturers will put cheap tires on them to save some money there so putting some nice new knobbly tires on like this are going to make a world of difference when you are upgrading your tires on your hardtail have a little think about the casing uh, if you don't want to go too thin because if you do well when it gets bumpy especially out the back pinch punctures and things like that are definitely more likely to happen i've got a trail casing tire on this you could go up to a downhill casing if you want it's something worth thinking about So you are thinking of getting rid of those tubes inside there. So just do make sure that when you are buying tires, actually, that they are tubeless ready. Now, a lot of tires these days are, so that shouldn't be a problem, but make sure they have something like TR on them for tubeless ready or whatever the manufacturer sort of states. Getting rid of inner tubes is a game changer. I promise you. Rims these days are wider and tougher. They're often factory fitted with rim tape, so they are already tubeless ready but you can also do this aftermarket as well by buying special rim tape that you put around and special valves as well. So fear not. It's not, it's not like if your hardtail hasn't come tubeless ready that it can't be done. It can, I promise you. 
What else does going tubeless entail then? Well, you're gonna need some sealant inside there, like a liquid latex that you've put in. It basically coats the inside of the tire and anytime you get a bit of a thorn or something sharp goes through or even a, a tear in the tire, providing it's not too big, it will actually seal up that hole, which is really, really clever these days. And there's lots of different sealants out there, but you do 100% need a sealant in there. Benefits of running no tubes? Well, actually you can run slightly lower pressures in your tires as well. Lower pressures equal more grip, so that's always a winner. And actually they're also a bit lighter, so you're gonna save a bit of weight as well. So where you might go up a bit of weight on the casing of the tire, you drop the tubes, so you drop a bit of weight. So it's almost neutral, if you like, if not a little bit lighter. Again, another winner in my book. You've done your tires, you've gone rid of the tubes. Congratulations, you are well on the way to getting way less punctures. But there's a step three, inserts. I know, these are fairly new things and they're actually like a, a foam well, insert, if you like, that goes inside the tire. And they're there, again, to design to help you stop damaging wheels, tires and getting punctures again. So what does an insert actually do? Well, like I said, they're generally a firm piece of foam that goes inside the tire all the way around the rim. Some of them will help lock the bead of the tire in place. Some of them sort of float around inside there. So what happens when you do run those lower pressures, if you take a heavy hit to the tire and compress it, you're not gonna smash through and either puncture the tire or smash your rim. It's actually like a bit of damping in between. So again, it means you can run lower pressures without fear of damaging your wheels. Again, great on a hardtail. Not necessarily needed front and back, you can run them just in the rear, as when you're picking up the front all the time, the rear is gonna take the majority of those hits. But they are definitely something worth considering when upgrading parts of your hardtail. That's a wrap then. Thank you very much for watching. Those are my beginner hardtail upgrade tips. A bit of a mouthful, but I hope you've managed to take some good ones away from it there and have fun shredding on your hardtails. Thank you very much for watching everyone. If you want to see more GMBN, don't forget hit the subscribe button and I look forward to seeing you again. Happy riding and stay safe.